welcome back to my channel. I'm Raina Scully coming to you from Japan to talk about face masks again. So the last time I dedicated a whole video to face masks was over two years ago before COVID, which is really weird. I did not think that that video would ever be so relevant. But anyway, today I'm going to introduce you to a bunch of super popular trending face masks in Japan right now because there are so many of them and I get a lot of questions about them when I wear them. So here we go. In terms of fashion, face masks have come a long way from your typical surgical sterile looking masks like these to all of these. I can't even hold them all. Here, let me try. All of these. Obviously, after the shortage of masks last year, every company stepped up their game and overproduced a bunch of different types of masks, so there is no shortage whatsoever of them, in Japan at least. And now there are so many colors and brands and shapes. I would say that this shape is what is most popular right now. It is referred to as a diamond shape. I too favor this shape because it's very easy to breathe in. It's 3D, so your nose and mouth doesn't get clogged by the face mask. It's super easy to talk with it on. It snugly covers a lot of your face and even fits under your chin so it doesn't slip at all. If you're wearing makeup, it doesn't rub too much of it off and it's stylish. So I wear this brand a lot. I'm sorry, it's like very reflecty, but it's from a company called ISDG and it comes in a box of 30 for about $9 and this is what it looks like on the inside when you open it up. They are individually wrapped in plastic, which is a huge waste of plastic. And I do normally criticize Japan for over packaging stuff. However, in the case of face masks, I do find this to be really useful because it's really easy to carry this around, to have a spare one, and it keeps it nice and sterile. I've seen these in white, gray, and here is the black one. I like the gray one the most because it's the softest. I do think it's weird that the textures are different depending on the colors, but this black one is very, very, how do I explain it? It's very embossed. This is what it looks like straight out of the plastic package. And if you turn it around, you can see that this part flaps open. This is where there's like a tiny little wire that you can shape to the bridge of your nose to make it comfortable. And this is the chin piece. So you just place it on. And I like to kind of adjust the nose wire after I put it on. And there we go. It fits so well. And like I said, it goes right under the chin so it really doesn't move around a lot. And even if I breathe a lot, <sighs> It doesn't cover my mouth completely, so I can still breathe, even if I'm breathing really heavily. I really like it. This is my favorite mask so far. What do you think? This one is called Victorian Mask, and it is super popular among girls, mainly because it comes in a variety of really cute pastel colors. I've seen purple, light blue, cream, black, white, and of course, pink. It is so cute. I've never used it before, so let's actually open it up and see what it's like and compare it. Ooh, okay. It's a lot more embossed, like the black one I showed before, compared to this gray one. This gray one is really, really soft and lightweight. This one's a lot stiffer. The shape is exactly the same as the gray one, and it has the same thing going on where the top half has the little bit of wire in it, and this is the bottom half that you put under your chin. You know, at first I didn't really like that it was harder and more textured, but now I think I kind of like it. It also seems just a tiny bit bigger than the gray one, just like a hair bigger than the gray one. All right, let's see how it feels when you put it on. All right, hmm, how do I explain this? It feels a lot more like a helmet where it doesn't conform to your shape, but actually I think that's what's amazing about it because I can breathe even better in this one than that one. There's a lot more space between the bridge of the nose or like the tip of the nose and where your lips begin. Okay, so as much as I like that this one hugs your facial line a little bit better, this is definitely, definitely easier to breathe in. 
Oh no, I have a new favorite one. Also, it's so cute, it's pink. And it doesn't move at all. Well, granted, this one doesn't really move much either, but like, this one's just like really stuck there. Now let's take a look at this one, the KN95 Pro Mask. I do have to mention that KN95 masks are supposed to meet the international standards to what the N95 masks are in the US. However, I do believe that a lot of KN95 masks are just branding. And just a quick sidebar, Japan surprisingly never ever had a criteria for what type of masks you should be using during the pandemic. The only steadfast suggestion was to use disposable masks or one-time use masks instead of cloth ones. But obviously because there was a shortage and because it is painfully wasteful, everybody was using cloth masks last year. But I would say that the majority are back to using disposable ones like these especially because they're just readily available everywhere again. But anyway, I suspect that this one isn't up to the standards of the US N95 level masks. I do believe that the KN95 up here is really just for branding, like I said before, but let's check it out anyway. According to the packages, there are five different layers of protection. Maybe it is good. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, okay, so these are individually wrapped as well. So it looks like this. It is folded all flat and the metal wire is exposed on the outside. Oh, and it's like kind of like a paper clip. You have to bend it to open it. Here we go. It's a lot tighter than I expected it to be. Uh, I'm sure I could just unbend the metal wire up at the top a little bit, but no, it's like really, really snug. Like I can't feel any air passing through anywhere except down here. It's still rather easy to breathe in. Um, it is not that pretty. It's not that fashionable. Not that that really matters, but oh, I, I kind of like it. I feel very secure in it. And you know what? I was feeling around the thickness of it and it, it's quite thick. It is significantly thicker than any of these guys. I'm very impressed with this. I feel like it's not gonna fit my husband though. I feel like if your face is bigger than mine, it's gonna feel really, really tight, like around the chin. I don't know. Uh, it did unfortunately transfer a lot of my makeup. Not a big deal. Still excellent. Next up are these guys, which are similar in shape to the Pita masks, but they're not foamy. This pink one is called Spun Mask and it's produced by the same company as the gray soft ones, ISDG. And this says Ditaike, which means 3D shaped. This one is just called Smart Color and they're produced by Unicharm, which used to be like the king of disposable face masks before the pandemic. They're all branded as Cho Kaiteki, which is what this kanji is here, and it means they're super comfortable. These are also known to be super lightweight, and it really is. Like, it's significantly lighter than this one, even though they have the same amount in them. Let's open and compare them. I've seen a lot of people wear these spun masks. Oh, it's so cute! I'm very weak against the color pink. This is what it looks like straight out of the packaging, all flat. And this too is very, oh, I thought it was stuck. It's a little stuck, but you just pop it open. All right. It's shaped very much exactly like the Pita masks. Oh, I like it. I thought it was gonna like slip off of my chin right here, but it doesn't. Hmm, cute, not bad. All right, the breathing test. All right, I don't know if you can hear it, but when I do that, it does fully cover my mouth. So if you're like breathing that heavily, which I don't know why you would be, but if you're like running for your train and you're breathing heavily, uh, this, this is bad. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's really cute and it's stylish and it fits very, very nicely. However, that's a problem for me. I'm still gonna use it, but mm, the other ones were highly, highly impressive on that front. 
Let's see how the Unicharm one fares in comparison. Sorry, that's probably really loud. I like did it right next to my microphone. All right. Oh, these do not come. Oh, I just broke the whole thing. Okay, these do not come in individual packages. They're all just like stuffed in there. Okay, not a problem. Ooh, okay. They feel very similar to this texture. So it's a little bit hard, whereas this one's like super, super soft. Okay, maybe that's a good thing. Kind of like with the Victorian mask, maybe the stiffness is supposed to help keep like the nose and mouth area open. Let us see. Okay, so it, it makes sense. This one is actually a lot bigger than this one. Like physically, it's like maybe two, two or maybe even three more centimeters larger than this one. Um, this is probably perfect for Mike but a little bit too open for me. Like I can fit two fingers right here through the chin, which is kind of not good, but it does fit the bridge of the nose pretty naturally. Let's do the breathing test. Okay, not as bad as this. It doesn't get like stuck, but actually it's, it's really not that bad. It's just not, it's just not as good as this one or this one. This one was like top-notch phenomenal in terms of letting you breathe super crazy heavy. You could probably go running in this. And this as well. I was very surprised and impressed with this one. I don't know, the standards are high. Still a great mask. I like how it hugs my face line. Obviously gonna use it, but yeah, it's better than this one. Unfortunately, this was the worst in terms of breathability. And finally, let's see what this mask is all about. It is called Bifito Mask, as in beauty fit mask. So this shape is supposed to be super flattering for your face and this dusty pink color is insanely popular right now. When I was in Tokyo, every girl I passed by was wearing exactly this color. This is what it looks like out of its packaging and this area right here is what's supposed to hug under your chin and you can see that there's a little wire piece right there for your nose. Actually, there's two wire pieces for your nose, one up here and one right here. Do you see these two? Interesting, I've never seen that before. Okay, let's see if it really is supposed to look good. How does this work then? You're supposed to bend this top part for your nose and then what? You Oh, maybe you make it come out like this so that it's easy to breathe. Ooh, I will say this, the ear string thingies are extremely soft. They feel like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. They're just so crazy soft. I've never felt that before. All of these don't compare. All right, breathing test. That's crazy. I don't know if it's because of that extra wire in the middle, but I can breathe perfectly, like without a problem whatsoever. This one sucks, you can't breathe in this. This one is okay, it, it's, it's, it's okay. This is the best. I don't think anything is gonna beat this one. Um, it's, I think this one is better than this one. Oh my God, no wonder everyone wears this mask. I, I am so blown away by this. I can't believe how good it is. And also, I don't know, does it look cute? Um, it feels really, really good. I feel like it's not touching my makeup whatsoever except right here and around here. This can't really be helped, right? Like if it's holding on to you right here. The chin isn't so bad. Um, my chin is touching the edge right here, but kind of like this, it can't really be helped. And according to the packaging, it really emphasizes that your profile is going to look good in this mask. What do you think? So yokogao means side face, which obviously means profile, but yokogao ga kirei ni mieru hazu. Damn! This is the best one. This is pretty and it's really breathable and it's not touching my face that much. So it's not like rubbing my makeup everywhere. That was the only flaw with this one, right? The fact that it's not pretty and the fact that it like rubbed off and transferred a lot of my makeup. What? I was so convinced that the Victorian mask was gonna be my favorite because just because of its color and its shape. I, I'm like very into the diamond shape. 
I gotta rethink my life. What? And this has like three layers in it. This one has five layers in it. This one has three layers in it. These didn't tell me how many layers are in it, which kind of tells me there's only one layer. I don't trust you. Uh, you obviously only have one layer. Look at how Pitta Pitta it is. Pitta Pitta is the automatopoeia for like flappy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like angry about it. I know I kind of just said this, but among all the ones I tried today, this one is my favorite, the Bifito Mask. I not only love the dusty pink color, but it is extremely breathable and it's pretty. Again, I really thought I was gonna like the Victorian mask. I would say this is number two. I think it goes number one, Number two, and then, I, I mean, I like this because I feel very safe in it, but it's not, it's not very flattering. I now wholly understand why this one is so popular and why I see it everywhere. I put the details of each of the masks in my description if you're interested in them. However, just be very careful if you are looking for them outside of Japan. I do believe there are lots of counterfeits out there. I put the brand and relevant info in Japanese so you could just copy paste it onto Amazon or wherever, which should yield the most accurate results. Before we wrap up, I'd like to give a special thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. As you may already know, Surfshark is my absolute favorite VPN service. It is astonishingly affordable and I use it literally every single day. Most importantly, it keeps me safe by encrypting my personal information so I don't have to worry about anyone trying to access my data, which is especially important if you are traveling and using public Wi-Fi. Plus, you won't get targeted ads because Surfshark will protect you from the internet eavesdropping on you and learning about you without you knowing it, something that I am personally very paranoid about. But the best part, it allows you to watch movies and TV shows from Netflix and other streaming services that aren't normally available in your area. All you have to do is set your region and Netflix will automatically populate everything that is available from that region. For example, sitcoms like How I Met Your Mother and Friends are not available in the US, but if you set your location to Japan, you can now watch every single episode of Friends and How I Met Your Mother every single season. Plus they have a 30 day money back guarantee so you could just test out Surfshark to see if you like it. I really think you will. And they have a special Black Friday deal going on right now where if you click the link in my description below and use my coupon code RainaScully10, you not only get 83% off, but you get four whole months for free. And that is it for this video. Which mask did you like the most and why? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Sonja matane!